Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. The day has finally come and today we're actually talking about my white coat ceremony. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Hello everybody, so it is the big day. It is white coat day where I get my white coat. I'm here with my partner and I'm just about to get ready to go. Um, we have to be at the venue, which is actually Lincoln Center where I did my post back at 9 a.m. So um, the time is about 8.30, so I need to start getting ready a little bit quicker. And we're about to head out. So um, come along and let's see what this is all about. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I've got my little two-piece suit on. You know, the white coat fit. Mm. Yeah, so um, as a lot of y'all have known since you've been following me for quite a bit of time, um, when I was struggling through the MCAT, when I was struggling through Orgo, pre-med stuff, the post back, during like the hardest points of this struggle, I would go online and I would find pictures from people's white coat ceremony or from people's match day. And these videos would be enough to just kind of like push me through whatever I was going through. And today it's my turn. Today I get my white coat and today I made it. I actually made it to this point. So this kind of marks like the beginning of this new journey towards medicine. And I'm really excited to go and I'm really excited to share it with you. And I think that it's going to be a great day. I'm still waiting for my mom and my sister to come through. They're running a little bit late. That's okay. Um, and then we're going to make our way to the venue. But yeah, so I'm excited to share this with you and I will see you later. So I finally got to the venue and over here we all waited in short lines that represented the rows that we had to sit in. And in those rows were chairs that had our white coats waiting for us as well as the programs. Evelyn Zhang and Kashik Yuturu. best you know keep my emotions under control when I saw my friends getting their white coats but it was kind of hard at times looking like whole future doctors out there it was it was really nice to see and then of course we took pictures we took plenty of pictures and don't even judge me because how many times am I gonna get a white coat ceremony let's be real so yeah I'm gonna take some pictures <laughs> Overboard on the pictures. This is a special moment for me. Yeah, but then my family, they, they weren't really about the picture life and I had to kind of move on or get disowned. So here we are having brunch. Okay, so the white coat ceremony is over and now we are about to enjoy some brunch. Here. Hey y'all, my people who came to support me today. I know y'all can't hear me with all the cars, but. And then my mom wanted some pictures of us. Tell me, how was I supposed to say no to my mother? This morning was enough excitement for the week, so then we enjoyed the rest of our brunch and went our separate ways. And you guessed it, that's right. I found my roommates and we took some more pictures and videos. Part of it was that this day really represented a new door opening to us in this world of medicine. But another part was that we also didn't want to go back to studying anatomy at the moment. So we took some pictures on the basketball court outside of our dorm, and then we moved across the street to Central Park to finish off our photo shoot.
And just when we thought we were done, we were joined by some more friends, and that meant some more photos. Woohoo! So just kind of rewinding, rewinding way, way back in the day when I was a pre-med. Yeah, no, no, back in my early pre-med years, probably when I was fresh out of college, um, probably circa 2018 type days, um, when I would go online and I'd look up all these medical schools and figure out like, how do I get here, yada, 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 what am I doing? Um, I came across this video, I think it was from SUNY Downstate, their medical school, somebody was talking to a group of students and they were talking about that there are three days in like a physician's life that really stand out and like you never really forget. First day, when you get accepted to medical school, um, you never really forget that one. Um, the second one is your white coat ceremony and um, just getting your first white coat, which happens in medical school usually. Um, and that's when you get your short white coat. And that symbolizes that you are still learning um, and you're still in the progress of becoming that doctor one day. And then once you graduate from medical school, you end up getting your long white coat, which means that you are a full, you're a full doctor. You're out there treating patients and people don't expect you to know things. Um, yeah, so just that white coat ceremony is number two. And then number three is when you match into residency, which, which won't be for a long time. I still don't know enough about that to like really be talking about that to y'all quite yet. but. Those are like the three events from based off of that video and like that doctor's perspective are the three events that really stick out in terms of like great memories of your path through medicine. So just going into the white coat ceremony and like seeing so many videos from white coat ceremonies and I kind of alluded to this in the beginning of this video. It's just like I had to keep pinching myself at the idea that like my white coat ceremony was finally happening and that like wow I'm, I'm gonna be a doctor one day. Um, so that was just amazing going into it because if you remember from my previous video um, talking about like we were in the middle of anatomy class because our white coat ceremony was later than a lot of other schools white coat ceremonies. Um, a lot of schools start usually like in your orientation week, your first week of medical school, you get your white coat and then like you move on. But for us, because COVID was just a weird situation, our white coat ceremony was actually pushed until like mid-September. And by then we were already like six, how many weeks of school were we? We were almost like a month into medical school. So we were working on our second exam for anatomy. And if y'all saw my previous video on like, you know, taking my first exam for anatomy, y'all know that that did not go too fresh. Um, so my, my spirits were a little bit low going into the white coat ceremony. And honestly, this ceremony is something that I needed at that time. I needed like some light, I needed some hope, something to hold on to. So like this really did come at a perfect time. Um, just being able to get my white coat, um, be coded by my faculty advisor who was already being so supportive uh, of me at that time. And also just seeing all my friends get their white coats up there on the stage. Oi! Yo! Um, yeah, it was, just, it was just amazing. Especially when I saw my friends' names being called and like them getting their white coats looking all doctorish and everything like that. I was like, I was in the front row but I was just trying to keep it cool, you know. White coat ceremony was amazing. Um, and just even thinking back on it now, like now that I'm like, I don't know, like maybe six months old, past that point, um, it, it was a beautiful day. It was just so much joy, so much happiness, seeing people and their families. And so anybody out there who's using these white coat videos to just kind of get you past those hurdles and like just knowing that like 
everybody who got their white coat or everybody who you saw in a white coat in this video, they passed their own hurdles in order to get here. Um, and, and you will too. You can do it too. And one day you're going to have your own white coat ceremony and you're just going to be pinching yourself because you're like, wow, I actually made it. Um, yeah, so keep working hard. You can do it. Um, and thank you so much for joining me on this journey. As always, it's such a pleasure to share these moments with you. Um, and I'm excited to also look back on this like years from now and just be like, wow, this is when I got my first white coat. Um, yeah, so again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below, like this video, comment, um, I don't know, comment something. Listen, I always love to read your comments and just kind of engage with y'all. But yeah, so again, thank you for joining me and I will see you later.